Hello, my name is Beck, and welcome to my January and February TBR. So this is my first TBR for the year and I'm so excited. So let's get into the books that I want to get to. Actually, no, before I get into the books that I want to read, I just want to let you know that I am going away on holidays for like three weeks from the 22nd of January to like the 11th of February. So a bunch of my reading is going to be put on hold for that time. So I'm hoping to get to all of these in a timely fashion, but we'll see how I go because obviously I'm going to be overseas. I'm not really going to be bringing much with me because last time I went to Japan, which is where I'm going again. I didn't really read too much. I'll link a reading vlog if you want to look, but I only really listened to audiobooks on the plane to and from, and then when we got delayed with a domestic flight, so I was too tired to do much physical reading when we were there. So I think this time is going to be a pretty similar story. So for that reason, I'm kind of hoping I can read this TBR before I leave and then after I come back. So let's get into it. The first book that I want to start in 2020 because I am pre filming this video is Crown Breaker by Sebastian de Castell, and this is is the conclusion to a young adult fantasy series that I absolutely adore. The first book is called Spellslinger and it follows a character named Kellen and he is a very underdog main character and he is very downtrodden in this society that he lives in so everyone is supposed to spark their band and get their magic but he can't really spark his band and so he's already on the back foot and he really has to rely on bluffing to get himself through situations and the family that he comes from is very manipulative and it's almost cult-like and you see him trying to wrestle with that and his identity and he really really grows with each book there's also a chosen family element with characters that he ends up meeting as well and I love their dynamics too and this at last book is absolutely going to destroy me I can just feel it and it's going to be amazing so I'm hoping that this is a five stars because starting my year on a five star read would be the best so my first physical read is Crown Breaker but the first audiobook that I want to listen to in 2020 is A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie and this is I think it's the eighth book in his first law world so this is the first book in an age of madness I think that's what it's called so that's his new series but it's also the eighth or so book in his first law series so it takes place in the same world but there's a time jump so this is very much with an industrial revolution kind of edge to the story and I think it's again following a bunch of different characters obviously a little hatred Joe Abercrombie is the king of writing grimdark stories so it's going to involve a lot of bloody violence and a lot of morally gray characters and honestly that's why I keep coming back to his work because I really love the way he writes character. So I'm really looking forward to reading this audiobook and Stephen Pacey who does the audiobook narration is amazing. So if you're gonna listen to a fantasy on audiobook I would highly recommend The Blade itself because he's just so so good and that is 100% why I'm so excited to start reading this. The next book on this list I don't actually have yet but it's coming out in January and it's called Come Tumbling Down by Sean and Maguire. This is the next book in her uh, novella series and I love this novella series. It's not really a secret that I adore it so much so obviously I'm going to be anticipating the next in it. It's very much a portal fantasy novella series so we follow different characters as they find these portals in two other worlds and these other fantasy worlds suit them down to a T. They're perfect worlds for these characters to slot directly into but these characters inevitably have to come back to the real world at some point and when they do they really struggle to adjust again and so there's this school that everyone goes to who has had this experience and they can kind of find like-minded people there. It deals with characters set in our world and also set in their fantastical worlds as well and I believe Come Tumbling Down is set in our world because the last book that we got in an absent dream was set in a fantasy world so I haven't read a synopsis really I don't know how that's going to go but I'm anticipating it anyway because I know that the characters in this book and the way that Sean and Maguire writes them are going to get into my heart and I'm going to love it as I've loved the previous books in this series so highly anticipating come tumbling down and I know that novella comes out early January so I'm going to jump on it as soon as it releases next up is a book that I had on my I want to start this series and finish this series video from the end of 2019 and it's Parasite by Myra Grant Again, this is by Shauna Maguire. Her pen name is Myra Grant, and I'm really looking forward to reading this. It has a similar premise to Scythe in the sense that this is a dystopian but disguised as a utopia where parasites have helped everyone stop disease and humanity has essentially beaten illness and I think there's going to be a darker story going on underneath the surface so I don't know again too much about this one. I'm really looking forward to reading it and then again on the back it says but these creatures which are the parasites are getting restless. They want their own lives and they will do anything to get them. So it sounds like they're going to buck this system of a utopian society that 
humans are used to. And I am really, really excited to read this. I love a good dystopian. Next up, I have a book that I wanted to start at the end of last year, but I just didn't end up getting around to it because I was in a bit of a reading slump throughout the entire year. So it kind of put me on the back foot a little bit, but it is Highway Bodies by Alison Evans. And I know this is a queer zombie apocalypse story and I'm really excited about that. Also, it's likely set in Melbourne because I know that Alison is a local author. So I don't really know too much aside from what I've just told you. I think it's multiple characters and there's an element of chosen family in here. And that's all I really have to go on. Again, really love this cover, really love zombies, really love a dystopian story, love the fact that there is a cast of queer characters. If you're looking for a zombie story, probably try this one because it's queer, it's going to be great, and I'm really excited to start it. Next is a book that I don't actually physically own, and it's The Diviners by Libba Bray, because I know the fourth book is coming out this year, I'm just not sure when, but I've heard the audiobooks are absolutely incredible. And The Diviners, when I read the synopsis, I read it a while ago, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it's about, but it reminds me of an amalgamation between Stalking Jack the Ripper and Nine house so it's an urban fantasy but it's set in a historical timeline and it's like in the 18 or 1900s I believe and it follows this group of individuals who track down demons and have clairvoyant kind of tendencies or I want to say superpowers but that doesn't seem like quite the right word so uh, clairvoyant tendencies is what I'm going to go for instead but I think they have to solve crimes potentially or uncover where demons originated from or just fight demons so that's why I said it's kind of an amalgamation of the two titles because Ninth House really deals with uh secret societies and Stalking Jack the Ripper really deals with a mystery element and a murder mystery element. So it's kind of those two things, but combined. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading The Diviners and hopefully I can really enjoy it and then get onto the series and finish the series in time for the fourth book coming out. That is the goal, but I don't know if it's going to be the reality. So I'm just setting The Diviners for this TBR. Next up, I want to finish a book series that I started last year. And this book is The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. And it's the third book in his His Dark Materials series. I started this at the end of last year and I really enjoyed it. It was a great palette cleanser between all of the adult fantasy I was reading. It was just a nice fun middle grade fantasy or urban fantasy rather because it's set in London in Oxford but it's got an addition of demons and magic so everyone has a demon familiar in this Oxford and we follow our main character named Lyra and kids start disappearing and she wants to find out why and that is a basic premise of the first book but obviously it's grown a lot from that basic premise and I can't tell you what is going on now because this is book three but I'm really enjoying it I've given the past books like four out of five stars each and I'm looking forward to finishing this series off in January and then next, this is the second last book that I want to talk about, and I'm tentatively putting it on this list because it's very, very big, but I want to start it as soon as possible. So it is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in his Wheel of Time series. It is a very big and chunky book, as you can see. So I want to kind of nibble away at it as much as possible because I want to kind of film a vlog for my experiences and Filming those take a really long time because I have to always be available to film and read at the same time and that's not always the case. So I want to try and start this as soon as possible and then I can just get into it whenever I have a spare 20 minutes or a spare half an hour so that I'm not having to push myself to read this and film everything all at one go because that would be very stressful. It was really hard to film my star site and my ninth house spoiler vlogs because I just didn't have time so it felt like I was reading those books for ages. Obviously it doesn't look like that in the vlogs but there is definitely gaps in between when I was starting and stopping and I don't want that to happen as much with this book so I want to try and get to this in January, February, maybe after I get back from my holiday depending on what else I get through and how fast. Okay so theoretically I said I had one more on this list to read but I actually have two more so the first one is the Poppy War by RF Kuang and I want to listen to the audiobook for this one but I don't know how well I'm going to get into this before I leave for Japan so maybe after I get back but I'm not entirely sure so this is definitely an aim I'm really really excited to read this I got this for Christmas so I want to get it read and off my TBR as soon as I can after receiving it and that's why it's kind of on this list because I don't want to forget about it and I also really want to read the first book in the Witcher set of novels so the first short story bind up is called The Last Wish and at the moment I've got it on hold at the bookstore when the order comes in so I will get it as soon as I can so I have a bunch of stuff on this TBR I'm really looking forward to finishing a series and then also starting a bunch of other series and then continuing a series this is going to be a great reading year I can just feel it I'm super excited to start all of these books and I can't wait to talk about them as well so thank you so much for watching this TBR video let me know if you have any books that are fantasy that you want to read as well because I would love to hear from you but I will catch you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye